Imagine this, you are excitedly clicking on a new website link, expecting to see some amazing content, but instead you are staring at a blank screen waiting and waiting. Frustrating, isn't it? There is where a loaded spinner comes to the rescue, transforming those endless moments of waiting into a smooth and engaging user experience. Hi everyone, I am Ayaz Afar and today I am going to show you how to implement a loading spinner in Angular 17. With, e with years of experience in web development, especially with Angular, I have faced and solved numerous challenges. One of my recent projects involved creating a seamless user ex interface for a high traffic application where implementing an effective loading spinner was crucial. I am here to share those insights with you. Before we dive into the spinner, let's talk about let's talk a bit about Angular 17. This latest version of Angular comes with several exciting updates and improvements that enhance performance and ease of use. But why focus on loading spinner? The answer lies in the user experience. A loading spinner is more than just a visual element. It's a communication tool. It tells your users that something is happening in the background and they just need to wait a bit longer. This simple addition can significantly improve the perceived performance of your application and keep users engaged rather than frustrated. Ready to enhance your Angular apps with an effective loading spinner? Let's get started. Let's start with a quick overview of Angular 17. Angular, known for its powerful framework in building dynamic web, dynamic web applications, has upped its game in the latest version. Angular 17 comes with enhanced features such as improved performance, better error handling and more intuitive API changes which are not only developer friendly but also contribute to smoother user inter interactions. For our tutorial, these improvements mean more efficient handling of dynamic elements like loading spinners. The importance of using User experience can't be overstated. In today's fast-paced digital world, users expect quick and responsive web applications. A loading spinner plays a crucial role here. It provides immediate feedback to users, letting them know that their request is being processed. Without this feedback, users might think the app is unresponsive or broken, leading to frustration and potentially losing their interest. Now let's roll up our sleeves and start setting up our Angular 17 project. This is where we lay the groundwork for our loading spinner. So first ensure you have the latest version of Node.js installed and as it is essential for running Angular. Next we will install Angular CLI, the command line interface tool that allows us to create and manage Angular projects easily. Open up your terminal or command prompt and type this command npm install dash g at angular slash cli. This command globally installs angular cli. With the angular cli installed, let's create a new angular project. In your terminal, navigate to the folder where you want to want your project and type ng new project dash name. Follow the on-screen prompts to create com to complete the setup. This command creates a new folder named whatever you have set for your project with all necessary Angular files. Let's quickly go over the project structure. The key folders and files are source, app directory. This is where our components, services and other Angular elements will live. And then you may have the app.module.ts in the app folder or you will have the app.component.ts. I am using standalone components that is the latest way of doing things in angular 17 so with that you don't need the app dot module so the root module so app dot module is a root module where we declare our components and import necessary modules but in the standalone components you can directly import the modules and components in your imports array the app dot component files are the root component files including our main html typescript and css files the angular json file is the configuration file for angular for our angular project understanding this structure is crucial as it helps in organizing our code especially when we start building our loading spinner now that our angular project is set up let's dive into creating our loading spinner we'll start by building a basic spinner component so open up your terminal and within your project directory run this command ng generate component and the name of the component that is going to be spinner press enter this command creates a new component named spinner in your project this command creates a new component named great you should now see a new folder 
under source slash app named spinner with four files an html template a typescript file a css or scss file and a test file let's start with the html and css for our spinner in the spinner.component.html file we will add a simple div for our spinner so let's write a div let me close the terminal for now div.spinner okay next in the spinner.component.css we will style our spinner we will use the keyframe animations to create a spinning effect so let's add some basic css to get us started border 16 pixels solid so this will create light gray border border top should be 16 pixels solid and this time this would be blue now we need border radius that would be 50 percent that will make it perfectly round a circle now we will add width of 120 pixel height of 120 pixels and animation would be spin to s linear infinite now we will define this spin animation so we will write the keyframes and the identifier will be spin that we used up and then we will add 0% on the 0% it will rotate to the 0 degree and on the 100% it will transform and rotate to the 360 degrees okay the css this css creates a circular spinner with a blue border that rotates using the spin animation feel free to customize the colors and size to fit your app's design finally let's add our spinner to the app so open the app.component.ts file and import your component in the imports array if you are using standalone component but if you are using app module then you should declare this spinner component in the module where your component is declared so if you as in those cases where you are using app module your app.component would be declared in the app.module so you will be uh, declaring your spinner component in that module so in my case as i'm using standalone so i can directly import it here spinner component so now let's add the spinner component tag in our app component.html so here let me add app dot app dash spinner okay save it now right now it is saying that spinner works but i don't see anything in that so because we did not save the html save it go back to the html and i don't see anything yet uh there is a mismatch of the class so instead of loader there should be spinner okay now you can see that it is working perfectly perfectly fine but there is a problem that when the animation is completed it stops there it should keep rotating forever so here we need to add something we need to add infinite okay now reload it you will see it will never stop it will keep doing that animation and there you have it you have successfully created and integrated a basic loading spinner into your angular 17 application now that we have our basic spinner let's take a step further we will customize its appearance and control its behavior dynamically based on the data loading status so customization is key to ensuring that the spinner aligns with your app's design so let's tweak the spinner's appearance you can change the color size or even the animation speed for instance let's change the color to a gradient and increase the size or even the animation speed for instance let's change the color to a gradient and increase the size so let's update the spinner.component.scss and here i will change this color water top would become the 8e44 ad that will add purple gradient and then i will add the border right so that will add the blue color to that border and let's increase the size of this spinner to 150 pixels and instead of two second i will reduce the duration to one second to make the speed or spin faster so with these changes our spinner now has more vibrant look and quicker animation feel free to experiment with these styles now let's next let's control the spinner dynamically we want to show the spinner when the data is loading and hide it once data is loaded to do this we will use angular's if condition in the html first in the spinner.component we will add the input property to control the visibility of the spinner so let's go back to the ts file of the spinner component and add the input decorator make sure to to import the input decorator from the angular core and then 
define property is loading and by default we will give it false value so by default it will not be loading so go to the app component ts and add a property is loading is equal to true and define a constructor here and there i will add a set timeout this dot is loading is equal to false and we will add the we will simulate a three second data load now in the app.component.html we will conditionally show this component so i will move it in the if condition is loading okay so now when you run your app the spinner will show for three seconds and simulating a data load and then disappear this dynamic control is crucial for real world application where the data is loading where data loading times can vary so you can see that it is loading after three seconds it will be gone let's explore how a loading spinner can make a real difference in user experience consider an e-commerce website where products are loaded from a database without a loading spinner users might face a blank page for a few seconds leading to confusion or impatience but with a spinner users understand that the data is on its way this small change can greatly reduce bounce rates and improve overall user satisfaction in one of my projects implementing a customized spinner reduced the perceived waiting time for users resulting in a 15 percent decrease in bounce rate and a significant increase in user engagement when it comes to best practices in angular applications remember keep it simple your spinner should be simple and non-distracting consistency use a consistent style for your spinner throughout the app and ensure that spinner is accessible with proper area attributes avoid overly complex application animations that might affect app performance moving on to the testing and debugging it's crucial to test the spinner to ensure it appears and disappears as expected you can test this manually by simulating different network conditions or using angular's testing utilities for automated testing during testing you might face issues like spinner not appearing or not disappearing after loading these issues are often related to improper binding of the is loading variable or the timing of data fetching so to solve these double check the components logic and ensure that the spinner's visibility is correctly tied to your data fetching status remember debugging is an integral part of the development process so use angular's developer tools to track down and fix issues that arise as we wrap up this tutorial let's quickly recap the key points we have covered today we learned how to implement a basic loading spinner in angular 17 customize its appearance and control it dynamically based on data loading we explored a real world case study and discussed best practices for spinner implementation we have seen how a well implemented loading spinner can significantly enhance user experience by providing valuable feedback during data loading processes it's a small feature but it plays a crucial role in keeping users informed and engaged now it's your turn i encourage you to try implementing a loading spinner in your angular projects experiment with different styles and behaviors and see how it improves the user experience share your experiences challenges or any innovative spinner design you come up with in the comments below i would love to see what you create if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to hit that subscribe button i regularly upload angular tutorials tips and tricks to help you become a more efficient developer thank you for watching ayastack where we strive to bring clarity and practical solutions to your angular development journey for more content like this check out the playlist on your screen and don't forget to subscribe for more updates stay tuned for more exciting content and remember keep coding and keep improving Thank you.